Good evening, good evening. Hi everyone, John. Today God is good and God is good all the time. My name is Aaron Just Fringe by. I'm here to give you a word on tonight. And the topic is gonna be David not in competition with something. You know, because sometimes you know people can be in competition with you and you don't know because when you good with what what you do, you know, you don't need to be in competition with nobody. And you know David was very good at when he was a young age, you know, he was working in the field. You know, and I just talked about it, how he beat that giant down, you know. So um, when he go in the field with some, you, you know, he going to come back with more because he good with his hands, you know. And then y'all just uh, saw this going to be so jealous because you remember the um, God's spirit, love, you know, depart um, from Saul. And the spirit of God is on David. So everything David do, he going he gonna to be successful. So this story is still about David. I'm still talking about David. You know, so David was anointed as a young boy. You know, so just to um, just just to continue on um, with um, talked about um, David fighting that big giant. You know, so um, he fight that big giant. He had got victory. You know, but he gave God the glory. You know, the spirit depart from Saul, and the spirit is on God on, on David. You know, so everything David do, he uh, he be very successful in it. He used God. He had faith and he had confidence and he used God as his defense, you know. So uh, this will happen early on when I had talked about David and the giant, you know. But um, this fact is here. The spirit of the Lord loves Saul, but the spirit of the Lord is upon David, you know. So now Saul will be jealous of David in everything he does, you know. So it will come from 1 Samuel 18, 1. Saul is jealous of David. Now remember, David uh, David uh, with Saul because the evil spirit upon Saul. You know, David played the herds and the spirit would leave him temporarily. So David um David got close to Saul, son Jonathan. You know, so Saul and his um Saul's son John Jonathan, him and David gonna be real close. You know, so um Saul kept David with him and did not let him return back to his father. You know, so now David and Jonathan son uh had built a competent uh, a competent with um uh, with each other they had got that close you know so whatever saw sent him to do david did it was so successfully you know so saw gave him a high rank in his honor so all the people was pleased um they was pleased and his officers everyone was pleased with they they like they they loved to take you know and so saw saw how successful david was he'll send david out they sent him out there with like a thousand oh, men to do this and do that. Now he thought that was a whole lot for David. Remember, he got hold to David. He a teenager. So he thought that was going to be a whole lot for David. And then realized David was very successful. You know, he came back and conquered that. You know, so then he gave David uh, a rank in, in uh, on, on doing what his officers and stuff was up. You know, so remember, the giant was in place. In place for the Israelites. You know, and and uh, the Israelite was terrified, but David brought the giant down. You know, so women, the giant had stood up and ran the Israelite away. So you no, know, so now David's in place with Saul. So the Israelites came back; they returned back home to meet Saul and David. You know, so you know David, they, they were singing and dancing. You know, they was happy that the giant is down. You know, David brought the giant down. So Saul said to David. You know, he went in the field together. Now, this one's so going to start getting jealous of David. Now, um, just because he's a teenager, you know, they told him, Saul and David going to be together. They're going to go in the field. You know, so Saul slain a thousand. They came back. All the people just standing around. Remember, they were dancing. So Saul didn't love them dancing and all that, and they went in the field. So they came back. Saul came back with a thousand, slain a thousand. But David slain 10,000. That was a whole lot compared to uh, a thousand at all uh, saw David. So remember, David is good with his hands. You know, he was he was working in the field. And, you know, he was tearing down animals' head, you know, tearing it in half. You know, so now, uh, now Saul is jealous of David because all the people surrounding David saying, oh, that's, that's good. You know, you, you brought 10, got 10,000 back. So what you got, a thousand? You know, sometimes people can bump pump everything up and cause a little stuff in making it as a big chaos 
you know, so he got jealous because everybody was praising um, David, you know, so he felt like he had to be in competition with him. So everything they do is like a competition to um, to Saul, you know, but David was not in competition with Saul because David is good at what he do. And he also have God's spirit upon him to you know, make him be successful in everything he do. You know, so David, um, to be, you know, he, he's, he's the best in what he do. You know, so he feel like David don't even, David don't even know that he, that, that um, Saul is in competition with him. You know, so now we see that Saul was very angry, you know, to so just refrain gallons of him. That all, all the people have credit, David, you know, see, they, they caused the chaos, you know, so they bumping up David, you know, so they credit David with 10,000. For me, on a thousand, you know, so 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 you know, so angry, so he just speaking out to them that y'all credit him ten thousand and me on a thousand. Would you just come back with a thousand? So so kept a jealousy eye on David. How you keep a jealousy eye on someone? What's so up, just you know? So next day, the evil spirit came upon him. Now he gonna be jealous of David, but David gonna be the one that constantly gonna be helping him out. You know, you remember. When the spirit left um, Saul, God also left an evil spirit on him to torment him. So every now and then, the spirit going to keep on a torment on Saul. And he's going to always need David help, but he's going to concentrate David wrong. And David going to always be on the run, for, run from Saul when, Saul when David got the constant helping with this evil spirit. So David was already playing his herd. Um, now David is helping Saul. By um by helping him with this evil spirit, but Saul had a spell in his hand. Now, now he mad with David now, but at the same time he gonna go with David playing the music because he know that stopped the evil spirit. So he had the spell in his hand, you know, and he curling it around, saying to himself, "I pinned this on David to the wall," you know, saying that to himself, spinning the, the spinning the weapon around in his hand. You know, the man helping you out, but he just so jealous of David, you know. So he, he talking about, here, yeah, I pin you against the wall with this thing. You know, so Saul was afraid of David. Sometimes, sometimes you could be so good in what you do. What you do. And just be uh, a decent, David's a decent person at this point, you know, because he, you know, he going to get terrible when he get grown. But at this point, he's a decent person, you know, and God is very fine of David. You know, and um, and sometimes you could just be good at what you do, you know, and, and, and people could just be jealous of you and just and just want to just call chaos with you. David, you know, David, and down the line, David going to be talking to Jonathan like, what I did? You know, what I did? I ain't doing anything wrong. And sometimes you could just be questioning yourself because you be wondering, what is the problem? You know, David do everything David do. He does it well, you know. Um, so David loves Saul, and Saul um, gives David a high rank. So Saul, son David, wait. He son David, wait, and give him a command of a thousand men to go to do a mission, you know, that he wanted. Now, he thought, he thought that he gave David this mission, that uh, the troop that was going to kill him. Keep on forgetting how good David is, you know. So he gave David that command and sent him around, sent him away and said, you know, take this David man and you you go on um, and, and go in and walk with the um with the troop. You know, so he champ David championed that and then he was back. So, he so David just gonna keep on trying to find stuff to try to um trying to have he thought David gonna get hurt in the uh in the walk. Saying so everything he did was great and successful, you know, because the law was with him. You know. So Saul saw, saw how successful he was and he was afraid of him. You know, you're going to send, send him out. You know, thought he was going to get killed in a, in a wall that you sent that you sent him in. He's he conquered that and came back waiting for, for more direction. You know, so for all Israel and Judah, everybody had loved the David. They loved the David. And Saul did was mad. He didn't like that. So Saul, started, uh, Saul was still afraid of David. So now he's afraid of David. But he want to give... Um, David, he's, he want to give his daughter to David in marriage. So David turned it down. He said, no, 
and you know, you're my master, you know. I don't I don't want, you know, I don't want to be your son or son in law. He said it, it won't be right. You know, so um so David go um so Saul gonna come at him a second time and say, you know, because Monica said his daughter Monica said, I love David. So since she said she loved David, Saul gonna go to him a second time. And um second time and Saul putting his daughter um for David. You know, so Saul, Saul wanted David to take revenge on the enemy. So, so now he, since David refused the first time, he wants David to, uh, he wants David to purchase his daughter. Now he said, "You go kill." So, so Saul want, Saul wants certain people killed. See, Saul trying to get revenge. He know David is good. He said, "You go kill these people for me, and bring them to me. I give you my daughter." So. Uh, so David took on took on to that, you know. So David's plan was to have David fall by the hands of the Philistine. So he wanted the Philistine to kill David. And he forgot that David brought that big giant Philistine giant down, you know. So David brought everything uh, to Saul. And just the second time he was gonna bring David to uh to to do something, and David handled it and come back, you know. He brought everything back to Saul. You know, and so uh, and that's when Saul, you know, David married his his daughter. You know, he gave everything um, to God. So his mission was complete from the first time. You know, uh, he thought the first time was going to kill David. But instead, Saul saw how the law was with David again. You know, so David married, married his daughter, you know, married his daughter. But Saul still was afraid. You know, he's going to keep on coming up with stuff. So now Saul said he would not put his hands on David. Now, since he, David married his, his daughter, he's going to talk about he's not going to put his hands on David. But we're going to see down the line, he's still going to want to try to kill David. David going to constantly be on the run from, from um, Saul. You know, so Saul tried to kill David. First Psalm 19, um, verse 1. So now Saul told his son, Jonathan, to kill David. Now remember, Saul and uh, remember Jonathan and David got real close. You know they made a covenant, a covenant with, with one another. So that's the last person to tell to uh, to go kill um, David. You know, so David, uh, David, David and Jonathan are real close. So Jonathan wanted David to leave. So Jonathan spoke fine of David, said he brought that giant down. You know, so Saul listened to Jonathan, and David lived. You know, he told him the whole story that how he, he, you know, brought that big giant down. You know, said the good things that David did. You know, so the evil, um, so the evil time, the evil spirit, uh, came upon Saul, and he, and he get it looked like every time the evil spirit would come upon him, he just get mad with David, cause I guess cause David, David had to help him. You know, he always had this weapon in his hand, and always talking about I pin you against the wall. But the man is helping him with his evil spirit. So, you know, so David, you know, so, so David allude the spell that he tried to put David uh, against the own wall and get David escape. So now we see. All we know is that David can't, um, David can kill Saul. Now we know that David can kill Saul. We know how powerful David is. But David chose, chose not to kill so, because see, David respect him. He was a boy when he, he got under Saul's wings, you know. So he respect um Saul, you know. But we know David can kill Saul with his bare hands. But he he lost the, the spell that he had on the wall, you know, and he escaped instead of killing him. So David lost Saul, and he will not kill Saul, but but escape. Saul went to his daughter's room looking for David. You know, but Monica let David down through the window, and he flee and escape. Monica put a garment, up putting some cold hair at the head of the, uh, the pretend that there was David. David flee from Saul, but he questioned Jonathan. He, you know, he questioned Jonathan, what crime did I commit? What did I do? You know, so he started questioning, like, I'm running from your father, but I still don't know what I did, you know? But when someone is jealous of you, you don't even have to do anything. You could just be who you are and go what you do. And someone will still hate your guts, you know. And so 
David constantly was on the run, on a run for something that he don't even know what he did. You know, just being who you are, just being powerful who you are, and just being that you got God's spirit all over your life. You know, just being good and successful whatever you do because the law is upon on, on your life. You know, it's all these things that sometimes a person would just like you, you know. And by by um David was so powerful with God, you know, spirit upon um David. You know, that's why he was afraid. You know, because God departs from um so, you know, so he figured if he keep on um, if David keep on being around, he figured God would tell him to, to, to kill him. But God didn't. God told um David twice, do not touch David on um, so. You know, because you because God knows David can kill on um, Saul with his bad hands. You know, God still told David, don't touch um, don't kill on um, Saul. And that was twice. You know. David flee from Saul. But he still questioned um David. He still questioned Jonathan, what crime did he did? You know, what I done. You know, so David hey, Jonathan, what have have you um you know done you know for your father to keep on coming after him you know because john is saved because you are better in what you do and his father or not you know and that's just something simple that's not even a reason to to want to kill somebody all the time to want to attack somebody all the time you, you know so jonathan made a cover to him with the house of david jonathan had David to make the same affirm uh, um, oath out of love for him because he loved him as he loved himself. So David, um, David did in the field, and now David, David was always running from Saul, hiding. You know, if David wasn't in the field, he was in the cave. You know, pretty much all his life, he was just running from Saul. You know, I know he wished he would have stood at home. You know, instead of um taking off with Saul and being under Saul's wings. You know, so when Saul had a sign, when Saul had um when Saul had um had slayed a thousand, see this all this started. All this drama started when he gonna take David in the field and he come back with a thousand slay. David come back with ten, you know, and so David is very successful in whatever he do because God is with him in power. You know, so uh Saul been Saul so been mad ever since. Saul so been mad ever since and keeping this man on the run over jealousy, you know, and always gonna keep on trying to be in competition with um David, you know. So David heard that the Philistines are attacking Kela. So David required to the law. The law said go. You know, so that one thing about oh David, he always required in God first. In the first, before he even do anything, cause, cause he didn't want to jump into war, and and God don't be with him, you know. So we have to pray or anything before we do anything, you know. But you might be good in what you do, but you're not good in what you do by yourself, you know. You good what you do with God's spirit on you, you know. So he still let God know they got what going on, and you know this cause of death, you know. So he wants to go and um say this person in that in that time could i go god said yeah go and say go and say you know because if you try to do things on your own strength you know god gonna let you fall you know so he that's good he letting god know before he go into war because he would have been in war by himself you know so david went and saved to people of cali you know so now i saw her that david done an excellent job you know, so where is the cake on um, killing it and saving? You know, that's how that, that where you'll find David at. So Saul fleed to that time where David was at, but David already had left. So David had went. David had left, but Saul plan was to destroy the town. He he pretty much didn't want. He, he pretty much was looking for David, but since David had left, he wanted he wanted to destroy the town. So when Saul met up with David, David said to his men, "The law forbid." him to kill his master you know so so god still loves him god still loves him you know because remember god was so um so um grief when he talked to samuel about that he made Saul um king and and, and saw disobey him you know because god 
was so on trouble because God loved us so. God still loved us so, you know. And and, and, and God told God gonna tell him twice, you know, to don't um, kill so. Because see, God know his time was also more up. Because down the line, you know, he gonna he gonna he gonna be killed. He gonna kill himself, you know. So that's why God said, don't kill him, don't kill him, you know. So David rebuked the men and made sure they didn't attack Saul. You know, so Saul left the cage. You know, remember, Saul came to the cage to, to kill David. So David had an opportunity to kill him, but God said no. And David going to listen to what God said, do. You know, so Saul left the cage and went his way. But David spared his life. David spared his life. You know, David could have killed him. You know, so David can't kill Saul with his bare hands. But he took he took order from God not to, you know. So down the line, um, Saul will try to kill David again. And, you know, so David again going to spare his life. You know, so Saul lying down in sleep. Now, just an easy son. He lying down asleep inside a camp with his spell stuck on the ground near him. You know, so David had to fight to get... Um, you know, so uh, so David um, David did not kill him while he was asleep. David spared his life. You know, and that's when David left. So David had to fight to get two of his wife back. You know, so as David on the run, he sure is cupulating so many own um, wives. You know, and remember his man, his his first wife is said um at at home. You know, that's why I had preached on that what weeks ago. That's why she got so bitter with um David because. And instead of David getting to a safe place and call for his wife to come back, he left her for a long period of time while he was out here running around and still picking up wives. You know, so David had to fight to get not one but two wives back. So the Ammonites had taken captivity of his wife and other stuff. You know, so David fought them from day to daybreak, you know, until evening came. So David fought and David fought. Um, brought everything back that the Ammonites had stolen. You know, so Saul take his um, uh, so Saul, Saul would take his life when he sees that uh, three of his sons are dead. You know, so uh, they go come for some first Samuel here, 31 1. Here's sign fought against the Israel, um, the Israelite that flee from them. You know, so the fear sign pressed hard on Saul, three sons. Also fighting around Saul and overtook him and wounded and, and wounded him critical, you know. So um, so um, the field sound um, killed both all three of his sons and also wounded uh Saul and made him um uh, in critical condition, you know. So by Saul, Saul all three of his sons dead, he felt like he had no reason to live, you know. So he told his his army barons to uh put the salt through him to kill him. So and so his, his servant said, No, I'm I'm not gonna do that. So Saul took the um the Saul and he ran it through himself and killed himself. And so when the unbarren the baron uh, his servant saw that he took the Saul and he killed his own self also. You know, because uh he was terrified to see all that going on, seeing the three sons dead, seeing Saul Saul dead, so he killed his own self. You know, so Saul fell down his sword and died. You know, the Am servant took the sword and he and he, and he died also. So Saul and his three sons are dead now. In the same day. And remember I preached on that that Jonathan's son gonna be the only survivor when a nurse gonna grab the son and break out and run for safety because the grandfather and his his daddy all died in the same day. You know, so the fifth son took the body. Um, fastened his body and they put it on the wall. So then, then they took the body down and burnt it, you know, and took the bones and buried the bones. They did all kinds of stuff. They did that to the three sons and to Saul. You know, you know they were to feel some fighting against um, Saul for so for a long period of time. So they took the wrists and all the other um other bones and they fast for seven days. They, you know, they hid the bones, they buried the body. I mean, they buried the um the bones and they burnt the body and they fast for seven days. So David hear about Saul's death. So they took David, 
they told David everything that happened. So they were about to um, be announced. Again, remember David was announcing when he was a boy. But he was a boy. But he was not in position. So now he's about to be in position. You know, David had to depart. So now David depart. And now David is about to be announced to be the king over um, the Israelite. You know, so uh, so uh, for a long period of time, David been running from Saul. You know, not twice. David spared Saul like twice. You know, but God say, don't do not kill him. You know, so God always know um, when a person's time is up. That's why God probably told him to spare his life. Because down the line, he took his own life. You know, so one, David have, haven't um, did anything wrong to Saul. Just a who he, just a who he are, and good and, and, and good on what he do. He's very successful in what he do. Two, David was very successful in everything he did because the spirit of the Lord was upon David's life. You know, so three, the spirit departed from Saul, and Saul was je jealous. You know, ever since because the spirit of the Lord was on David, and David was good in everything he did compared to David to Saul. Saul came back with a thousand. David came back with 10,000, you know, so four. So, so wanted to be in competition with David. But David was not in competition uh, with Saul. David just was good in everything he do because David was a boy and he was successful in the field. So this package pretty much uh, be yourself, put in the hard work, what God sent you to do. Don't never be in competition with no one, you know. Don't be mad with no one because they have good skills, you know, good skills in what they do. Because God give all us a gift and all of us have skills. And, you know, um, some of us may have good skills in this department. The next may have good skills in that department. You know, Saul was good in what he did. And David was good in what he did. God give everyone a gift. Everyone has skills. Some people good in different skills. You know, and Saul was the kind of person that he was just so angry and he was just so jealous. He already was mad and jealous because God had uh, took his spirit away from him and placed it over um, David's life. And that also made him jealous because he know with the spirit of God on you, you're going to be good and successful in whatever you do. You know, because Saul know that he was. You know, so that's how he know, that's why he know that that's why he told him when David had to fight that giant. And David had told him that um, within the name of the Lord, it's his defense. That, that's when that um, Saul had told him, you go ahead on. You go ahead on the fight that um, the Lord will be with you. Because Saul already know when God's spirit was with him, you know, the Lord was with him. Anytime he was fighting, fighting any giant, or fighting any fence side, you know, he was, he was the Israelite king. You know, so God was with him, you know, and so God gave him that mission. And he did not follow the admission. He came back with the king, and that's not what God told him to do. God told him to wipe out everybody, you know, not bring back somebody, you know. So I hope y'all enjoy this package. And remember, to don't be in competition with nobody. Be yourself, and you put, you know, we all have skills. We all have gifts, and, you know, so find that skill. That you good in and be the best of it. And, you know, so you don't have to be in competition with no one. You can put your own hard work in. And, you know, and so have a blessed day. And I'll see y'all on the next video.